covering the 2012 GOP convention here in Tampa, Florida. And we found Senator Johnny Isaacson from the great state of Georgia, the neighbor to the north of Florida. Good to see you, sir. Great to be in Tampa with the GOP. Uh, sir, tell me about the tradition of the Second Amendment in, in Georgia. Well, Georgia is a deeply committed Second Amendment state, uh, always has been. It's an outdoor state, lots of hunting, lots of fishing, lots of sporting activities. And quite frankly, we do some of the greatest training of all our military people around this country. At Fort Stewart and Fort Benning is where we trade all of our infantry. FLETC, the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center, is the largest firing range in the United States in Brunswick, Georgia. People are committed to, the, to be able to own their weapons and be able to protect themselves and be able to hunt and fish and enjoy themselves. Sir, before the Olympics, I was lucky enough to go to Fort Benning to the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit to interview the Olympians on the team who are on their way to London. Um, you're right, impressive, impressive shooting facilities and, of course, impressive, impressive men. And you know, in this year's Olympics, one of the winners, one of the women winners in rifle and marksmanship, yep. was a Columbus State, Columbus, Georgia woman. That's right, Jamie Gray. That's exactly right. Yep. Absolutely, no. We, uh, we we were following them, and we were so proud of uh, all them and, and all their successes. Sir, talk about the Romney Ryan ticket. Talk about uh, Georgia voters, and talk about their chances in this election to unseat Barack Obama. Well, Romney and Ryan will carry Georgia. Georgia is a very red state. In terms of hunter, hunters, Paul Ryan's a great hunter himself, right. identifies with our great quail plantations in Georgia and deer hunting plantations that we have. They'll be a great ticket for our state, but they'll be a great ticket for the United States of America. This is a winning ticket. It's a race we need to win. For America's future, it's a race we have to win. Sir, when, you, um, when you're in the Senate and you work uh, with, with uh, Majority Leader Harry Reid, how, how frustrating can it be sometimes? It seems like, you know, we hear these stories, the stories we see the news, just, it just doesn't seem like anything can get done in the Senate. Is the frustration just palpable for you? It's, it's about as bad as anything you can imagine. At a time when we need to be doing things desperately, it's like playing rope-a-dope with Cassius Clay and Muhammad Ali. You're running around the ring all the time, but nobody's ever landing a punch. And that's not the way to have a fight. It's not the way to fight for your country and fight for the fiscal soundness of this country. Harry has decided, for reasons that are his, I'm sure, to not let anybody take a controversial vote on the Democratic side. Therefore, we haven't had any votes to take to speak of. And that's one of the reasons our country's in the shape it's in today. What is the biggest threat to this country if Barack Obama were to get, uh, win a second term? Four more years of what we had in the past four years. Too much regulation, too much oppression, too much government, not enough empowerment of the individual, not enough empowerment of the free enterprise system, not enough confidence for the American people to believe in themselves. It would be a disaster for him to be reelected in the next four years. Last question, sir. Uh, uh, me and my camera, Mike Aiken, after this convention, we're driving up to Charlotte for the DNC. But in the meantime, we're going through your beautiful state. We're stopping in Atlanta for the inaugural NRA American Warrior 300 NASCAR race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I imagine you've been there. Tell us about being at Atlanta Motor Speedway and tell us why our listeners and our viewers should go to that beautiful racetrack in your beautiful state. It is a fantastic racetrack. It's a beautiful venue. It's weld everything you could possibly want for a race. And all is right there, the concessions, the seats, the parking areas, the, the RV areas. It's just a great place to watch a great event. Is there any, um, do you have any cool stops along the way and any secret places we should stop when we're driving through your state? Well, we've got a farmer's market about 20 miles north where you can get all the good Georgia green peanuts, which are now being harvested. <laughs> Boil yourself some peanuts and have a Georgia delicacy. Sir, what's a, what's a green peanut, sir? A green peanut's one you just picked that hadn't dried out yet. And it's delicious? It's, you boil it with salt on it, oh, it's fantastic. Sold. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much.